In this question, two ideal inductors, each of inductance L, are connected in series, and a capacitor capacitance C is connected in parallel to one of the inductors. This combination is connected in uh, connected across a battery of electromotive force E through a switch, uh, as on the figure. Initially, the switch was open for a long time, and the capacitor was initially uncharged. So, how will the voltage on the capacitor vary with time t after the switch is closed? Okay, so this is some LC combination and uh, some DC voltage source here is applied and we have to find the voltage on this capacitor as a function of time. So, okay, let's see how to proceed. Okay, so this is the diagram and in this diagram I have shown the circuit uh, variables. Uh, suppose battery is a current jar, that current is I and this current is dividing into two parts here at this junction jo current i1 hai, that is going into the capacitor and current i2 is going into this inductor l so there are some initial conditions in this question so i am uh, writing the initial condition first to ek ek karke sari initial condition because uh, jab hum aage solve karenge to we have to integrate uh, integration differentiation will be used and uh, to obtain the solution we need the initial conditions so initial condition for charge is obviously zero okay and uh, because this is the inductor and this inductor will not allow any current initially okay at t is equal to zero so there cannot be any current through this inductor and obviously if there is no current here so there cannot be current here also so initially all the currents are zero i is equal to i1 is equal to i2 both uh, all these three currents are zero and uh, because there is no charge on this capacitor so potential difference on the capacitor is also zero and uh, capacitor is connected across this inductor so potential difference on this uh, terminals on this inductor is also zero which is denoted by uh, l di by dt and i is i2 in this inductor so i have written l di2 by dt this is zero initially at t is equal to zero and uh, from the junction low i can write i is equal to i1 plus i2 okay so current is divided into two parts and if i differentiate this equation so i will get di by dt uh, is equal to di1 by dt plus di2 by dt and i have multiplied this equation by l because generally we need the term l di by dt uh, in this uh, circuit's equation so l di by dt this is l di1 by dt plus uh, l di2 by dt and uh, what happens at t is equal to 0 is uh, l di2 by dt is 0 okay so this thing is 0 so this will go and uh, these two are equal at t is equal to 0 so l di1 by dt is equal to l di1 by dt and uh, we know the value of uh, this also so because there is no potential difference uh, on this terminal so all the potential difference of the battery is coming on these two terminals terminals of this uh, inductor okay so here the potential difference uh, i can write l di by dt and from this mathematical equation this is equal to l di1 by dt also and this is equal to e so these are the initial condition and we can use this initial condition to solve the equation which uh, we will form using the loop equations so let us write the loop equation at some general time t is equal to t so i will use first this bigger loop okay so this bigger loop i will use to add my equation and then i will uh, write another equation from this smaller loop okay so from this loop i will write other, other equation so let us first write the equation from this uh, bigger loop okay so writing the equation of kvl uh, this is e and for this inductor i will use uh, minus l di by dt i am writing in the direction of current and in the direction of current here this is l di2 by dt this is equal to 0 i have taken this equation to be 1 and i am taking this equation to be 2 other equation i can write here only uh, so potential difference on this and potential difference on inductor at any time both will be equal okay so uh, i can write simply q by c this is equal to l di2 by dt okay so this is your equation number let's say 3 okay and uh, obviously the charge or yahan pe is i1 i can relate these uh, these two things because uh, through this current i uh, charging is taking place okay so this q i can write d uh, sorry uh, this i i can write i i is i1 i1 i can write dq by dt okay so dq by dt i can <coughs> label this equation to be 4 so these are four equations and you have to manipulate these equations to get our solution so what we need here jo charge hai jo charge ya voltage agar charge aa jayega to voltage bhi aa jayega capacitor kyunki voltage is simply q by c so we can find the charge and to find charge i i need the relation between 
charge and time and uh, i1 can appear there and i1 can be written in form of charge also okay so the equation may happen on a charon that equation is uh, should be in terms of this i1 q and time okay so i1 and q can be interchanged from uh, one form to another i can uh, replace i1 as dq by dt or when this q can be replaced using this thing okay so i1 and q are not the problem problems are this i2 i have to eliminate i i have to eliminate okay so let us see how i can do this so this l diability from this equation l diability and uh, l diability can be written equal to this okay so let us first write this one so in equation number 2 using equation number 1 uh, i can write this thing e minus and l diability i can put this thing and it will become l d i1 by dt and uh, there is another term here l di2 by dt and uh, here also l di2 so it is uh, minus 2 l di2 by dt now the another uh, term with problem is uh, di2 by dt i have to eliminate this term and uh, from here uh, i can easily eliminate this term l di2 by dt is simply q by c so let's go for this so i can write e minus l di1 by dt and uh, this is uh, 2 and l di2 by dt can be written as q by c okay so this is the equation and in this equation now you can see Uh, sort of charge or i1 r charge or i1 r so this is the equation we want here and uh, from here uh, solution can go in two directions okay solution ko main do direction mein yahan pe leke ja sakta hu ek to ye ki di1 by dt you can replace this thing in terms of charge okay so i was discussing also earlier uh, i can make use of this equation from uh, i can make use of this equation and i can convert equation Uh, into completely current equation or convert equation into completely charge equation so agar main completely yahan pe agar charge terms pe lana chahu to i can do it so di1 by dt uh, di1 by dt if i differentiate this one so it will be uh, double derivative of charge so charge ka double derivative yahan pe aa jayega but lekin main us tarike se nahi jana chahta kyunki double derivative and this uh, this q and this e will be there okay so equation थोड़ी सी ज़्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड हो जाएगी अगर मैं इसको आगे सॉल्व करना चाहूँगा मैं इसको और सिंपल कर सकता हूँ यहाँ पे जो सॉल्यूशन है सॉल्यूशन को अगर मैं एक डिफरेंट लाइन पे ले जाऊँ व्हाट आई कैन डू इज़ कि मैं यहाँ पर चार से टर्म्स में इक्वेशन बनाने के बजाय करेंट के टर्म्स में इक्वेशन बनाता हूँ तो अगर मैं करेंट के टर्म्स में इक्वेशन बनाना चाहता हूँ तो फॉर दैट आई नीड टू डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस इक्वेशन तो अगर मैं इस इक्वेशन को डिफ्रेंशिएट कर दूँ तो इट विल गो ओके सो दिस विल बी अ बिग रिलीफ अगर ये चला जाता है यहाँ से so it will be double derivative and this will be dq by dt and dq by dt can be handled using this equation again so this equation is very uh, crucial here i1 is equal to dq by dt so i am differentiating this equation now okay so let's differentiate so differentiating this equation differentiate with respect to time obviously so differentiating with respect to time i will get uh, this is zero this is l this is double derivative of i1 with respect to time and this will be minus 2 by c dq by dt and dq by dt i can write i1 so this is equal to zero so just to manipulate this equation uh, d2 i1 by dt square i can write this to be equal to minus 2 by lc i1 and now this is standard uh, simple harmonic uh, variation minus omega square i1 where omega is the angular frequency okay so this current i1 is varying sinusoidally and omega square omega square from here i can write this is 2 by lc okay so solution of this kind of equations uh, is uh, sinusoidal okay so we should know that so i1 i can write some maximum value of or amplitude value of i1 which is i1 not i can, i am writing and sin omega t plus some phi okay it is sin omega t plus phi so here what are the unknowns unknown is i1 not okay omega is known quantity and this phi and now for calculation of this things we need to use the initial conditions so initial conditions ka use karke i will put the values aur usse aap ye calculate kar sakte ho phi calculate kar sakte ho so uh, initial condition jo main pehle yahan pe use kar raha hu the first initial condition i am using initial currents are zero okay so obviously i1 is zero i1 is initially zero so if i1 is initially zero so i can put t is equal to zero here at t is equal to zero i1 is equal to zero and from there uh, it's very easy to say this is zero and this uh, omega t is 0 so sin phi is 0 okay sin phi is 0 and phi 
can be written as 0 okay so phi is 0 here so now equation is reduced to a simple equation now i1 is equal to some i1 naught which is the maximum value of current maximum value of i1 sin omega t okay so now i need to find this i1 naught and to find this i1 naught uh, so let's uh, what we can do uh, another condition i can use uh, on i1 okay so let's make use of this condition this condition they use karte l di1 by dt at t is equal to 0 so these values are at t is equal to 0 so l di1 by dt at t is equal to 0 this is equal to e so let's use this equation for that we need to differentiate this one so let's first differentiate so it will be di1 by dt it will be sorry it will be i1 naught and sin omega it will be cos omega t okay so differentiation and uh, let's put the value t is equal to 0 so at t is equal to 0 this will be i1 naught omega and what is this equal to this is equal to uh, e okay so what is the value of uh, this i1 naught oh, so, sorry uh, there is one mistake here uh, l di1 by dt this is equal to e and di1 by dt is equal to e by l okay so di1 by dt this is equal to e by l so let's write e by l instead of e only so it is e by l so from here the maximum value of current i1 is uh, e upon omega and uh, if i need i can put the value of omega also omega i know okay so let's proceed further so i1 is completely known now okay so at this point i1 is completely known and i1 not this is e by omega l and uh, sin omega t okay so this is the i1 now uh, i1 can be written as dq by dt because uh, i need this charge okay so i can write dq by dt and after writing dq by dt i can integrate this equation okay so let's integrate this equation so after integrating on both the sides uh, uh, obviously dt has to be taken on this side and dq will be there so i will integrate it so dq integration will be q or uh, sin omega t dt sin omega t dt is integration so e upon omega l sin omega t it will be minus cos omega t by omega and due to indefinite integration i will use a constant of integration okay so let's that constant of integration is lambda okay so lambda is the constant of integration and again to obtain this lambda hame uh, again isme jo initial conditions usko use karna padega i have to use the initial condition so at t is equal to 0 t is equal to 0 what is the initial condition t is equal to 0 this q is 0 okay so if i put t is equal to 0 in this equation so initial conditions are very important to solve this type of situations so this should be 0 and uh, this is minus e upon omega square l cos omega t will be 1 plus lambda okay so lambda from here is e divided by omega square l and e divided by omega square l i can write the value of omega here so it is omega square is 2 by lc it is uh, into l so it is uh, c e by 2 okay so let's write the charge equation so charge equation finally i can write so this e by omega square l this is c by 2 so minus c e by 2 cos omega t and the lambda value is c e by 2 so from here i can write the charge and q by c is the voltage so we need the voltage so voltage on the capacitor is this q by c and this q by c is e by 2 i can take common so it is 1 minus cos omega t okay so this is the variation of voltage on the capacitor with respect to time and agar yahan se voltage aa gaya to voltage ke baad mein agar if we need some other things like if i need to find i1 so i can find uh, i1 already i find i if i need to find i i2 so these are the equations okay so these are the equations uh, i made here and from these equations i can find the other things also because uh, from here you can see l di1 by dt is equal to e so i1 we have calculated and using that thing i can find i also and similarly i can find i2 also because i2 is following what kind of equation here q by c q by c is always equal to l di2 by dt okay so if i find charge i can find i2 also so other things can also be found using these equations